Oh, ah, it's burning. But I still have my five pounds of fat and I can't get rid of it. Look, most of us are trying to go about losing fat the, the wrong way. We think crunches are actually going to get rid of our midsection. So you see it as you're doing all these different types of crunches, you lay on your side, and you're doing all these different types of crunch motion and stuff, and it's not making a difference. Because first, it starts in the kitchen. What you're feeding yourself is what you're going to see on your body. And then secondly, we have to realize that crunches are useless, right? The way they did the crunch research is on cadavers, on dead people. And they found out what happens when they fire this one little nerve off that crunches the stomach. So they think that's what we should do to train that muscle. So unless you plan on dying in the next couple of days, the crunches aren't really for you. So I want to show you a few little moves here that you can do. As you see, we're in a very small space right here. So regardless of wherever you're at, if you're in a hotel room, if you're at home watching the kids, or if you're at the gym and you're just in a small little square section there, these are simple little things that you can do. I'll show you the expensive version. These are the valve slides. There's a link below there so you can purchase them. There's paper plates for the cheap version there. Five bucks, you can probably get a couple hundred of them or everybody has the free version as a towel laying around at their house. So I'll show you the five buck version here onto this one. So you're very simply gonna do this. You're gonna take just your feet, place them onto both towels here in this one, into a push-up position, and very easily, you're just gonna drive the knee straight on up and back and forth. We're just gonna go straight back and forth. Start off with six reps here, fairly simple. The next one you're gonna do here, I'll show you with the opposite leg onto it, is just go to the outside of your elbow. Again, start with six reps, keep it simple. And then the last one, you're just gonna go diagonally across your body. Bam, bam, back and forth there. I promise you, as soon as you get into that position, you crank out three rounds, that eighth position right there, stomach's gonna be talking to you a little bit. And then the next little progression here is we're gonna move the plates to underneath our hands. Simple, easy start, make your back nice and flat, and you're just gonna reach out in front of you, allow the disc to slide out, and then we're gonna come right on back up with it there. Slide it out, and then come right back up. So if you want the real challenge on it, Get up into a push-up position here, and then you're gonna do the same exact thing as you let the hand slide on out, pulling it right on back up. This, five bucks, better than any crunches, side crunches, whatever types of bicycle type crunches that you're expecting right there. So first, if you're wanting to see the six pack here, you gotta make sure that you're feeding yourself right in the kitchen, and then secondly, you gotta make sure you're training yourself right. Crunches are out, they're like so 1970s. Get up with the times there, try the new stuff out, let me know how it goes. Until next time, live a life of purpose.